Hello there, I am Giant Cold with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on, uh, I think we took on the desert, uh, on, near Route 111. And now we backtracked all the way back to Petalburg City, because we have four gym badges now. We can take on our father at the Petalburg City gym. Let's read the sign. I also said I would train up all my Pokemon, by the way, before I read the sign. Uh, let me show this. Um, I trained all my Pokemon up to level 29, as I said, like I said at the end of the last part. So yeah, um, for moves though, uh, I think some people, some of my Pokemon learned new moves. Uh, Fire did not learn anything new, um, so yeah. Skarmory learned Air Cutter at level 29, so that's pretty cool. I got rid of, um, I think it was either Sand Attack or, uh, something else, I forget, really. <laughs> I'm sorry if I forget the move I replaced, but yeah. <laughs> sorry about that, I just can't remember, honestly. Okay, Smokey didn't learn anything new, I don't think. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, no, she didn't, because it's female. Okay, cool. Uh, Metroid, um, yeah, Metroid didn't learn anything new. Um, Quivile, uh, uh, my Geico, um, he learned, wait, like, we've played at level 29, so that's pretty cool. We got rid of Absorb, or I got rid of Absorb. Uh, to replace it with, uh, we've played. Uh, Twitch learn didn't learn anything new. I think, I almost said it already had Confused Ray. I think it already had Confused Ray. But maybe not. It learned Confused Ray if it, uh, ha didn't already have it by then in the last part. Um, and that's about it, yeah. So, uh, this gym is a normal type gym, so I have a uh, Fire Dark Friend because it's a fighting type Pokemon, so he has a type advantage. And the Scream was also ha half Steel type, so it'll be very defensive against, uh, normal type attacks and stuff, so. That's our plan, I guess. That's our plan, I guess. So let's read the sign, finally. Um, Put up a city Pokemon Gym Leader and Women. A man in pursuit of power. And I think, um, we caught, we, I think, uh, Larry picked up a couple, um, new items, like, uh, um, like a nugget, yeah. And I'll put the experience in the PC, actually, because I probably won't need it. I was like, you know, I can always take it out of the PC again if I need it, actually. But I don't think I need it for right now. Protein, okay, I forgot to read that one. Okay, we have to attack one Pokemon. Let's give that to, uh, let's give it to the Geico, I guess. Yeah, because the attack rate is cool. I'm gonna sell the Nugget and then also put the experience tree in the PC, in the Pokemon Center, so, uh, I'll be right back in when I'm done with doing all that. Okay, after I'm done all that, let's go in the gym. I'm done with all doing, putting the experience tree in the PC and then selling the two Nuggets. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. How's it going, Champion Bound Steven? The doors to the g this gym opens when you beat the waiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. <laughs> the trainers of Pokemon Pedal Bug Gym use all kinds of items, like X attack items, yeah, and guide specs and die hits and stuff like that. The door to the left leads to the speed room. The door to the right leads to the accuracy room. The room the, the room's name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you choose once you've chosen the door, well hey, go for it. And then yeah, he should say he should also say that fine time is should perfect against the normal type Pokemon in here. So let's see, what's what's did the statue? Pokemon City, Pokemon er, not Pokemon City. Pedalburg City Pokemon Gym, there we go. So, I don't really mind which room I go into. I guess I'll go in the speed room first. The speed room, uh, speed room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Yes. It's like a little dojo in here, you know? This is like a dojo gym, honestly. <laughs> it kind of looks like a dojo gym. Yeah, okay, so the ability to attack before your opponent. Just that, that alone puts me at a great advantage. Don't you agree? We'll see whose Pokemon is faster, but you get put. They always put like they always use X item at the beginning of the battle, like as their first turn. So, uh, yeah. This is a good Delcaddy. Okay, cool. Let's go for the um fake out first. Gets good as X speed, of course. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Let's see how much this does. Just about that much. Okay, cool. Let's go for the vital throw. Use double slap. Yeah, it hit two times. Good for you. There we go, Vital Throw. He still carries level 27 female, it goes down, nice. Nice, I like it. Okay. Okay, now two, two, no two new doors open, awesome. Defense room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Yes. Let's go through the door. Here is a cool trainer, um, female. I think that was a cool trainer male we faced off first. Okay, I forgot this room is against the defense. The higher the defense, the more reckless it can it be an attack. That's actually kind of true. So you got your, you're right on that. Okay, this is a, I didn't read the name of the cool trainer male, but this is cool trainer Lori. So that one here. Okay, cool. Let's go, f I'm gonna go get, again for the fake out because it does a little bit of damage, you know. 
just off the bat. Even though it won't flinch the Pokemon, but that's okay. Make the Pokemon flinch because it's going second, but that's okay. Let's go for the Vital Throw now. Sand Attack missed. Oh, uh, Sand Attack actually hits, but Vital Throw always goes second, but it never misses. Awesome. So there we go, nice. Player defeated uh, Culture and Wallway, nice. Our defenses weren't enough, sorry. Thanks for the 12,000, thanks for the 1,296 pocket dollars though. I'm always choosing like the left door for right now, but yeah. One hit, one hit room, oh man, that's not good. Okay, do you want to get through? Yes, of course. Okay, so here's another cool chair in the mail. Uh, I'm not going to take it easy just because you're the weirdest kid. Our weirdest kid. Uh, I'll show you how horrid it is for Pokemon to take a quick hit. I think this guy's a Zangus, so watch out for its Slash Attack because Slash Attack, Slash has a high critical hit ratio. Yes, I remember he does have a Zangus, cool. Let's go for the Let's go for the fake out though still, just to get free hit, or not really free hit, but like a little bit of damage on it. Let's see fake out, nice. Get that much damage, let's just follow through. Sword stance, oh man, that's gonna raise its attack especially sharply. We gotta knock this thing out quick before it swoops, well not really sweeps, but uh, does damage to my team. I don't think it'll sweep my team really. Because my Pokemon were two levels higher than that Zingus because it was level 27, and my, all my Pokemon right now are level 29. Yeah. Almost level 30, awesome. Uh, player defeated, cool trainer, what, break? Is what your name was? <laughs> your, your power, you're the real deal, thanks. Thanks for the 1,296 Pokedex. I think they give it, I think they give out the same amount of money because the last trainer gave me 1,296 Pokedex. Jim Wade gets room. See for yourself if the sun says you want to get through. Not just yet, I want to actually battle all the trainers actually for the experience. So let's go to the room to the left. Strength room when the sun says we want to get through. Yes, of course. Sure. Here's another cool trainer. Our gym leader uh, told us to go all out on and beat you, even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Well, I know I'm the gym leader's kid, but I'm still gonna try to win, you know? Don't, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Cool trainer Jordy would like the battle, cool. She has a Zingus as well as level 27 and female, nice. Let's go for the fake out. Let's use an X attack, we gotta knock this thing out fast before it does damage to fighter, you know? Or serious damage to fighter, you know, because it has potential too. Let's go for the vital throw again. Not very effective. For the for fear card, but that's okay. That's good for us. Vital throw hits and it does it one hit KOs. Oh it takes the rest of its HP out actually. It doesn't want to KO it because it takes two hits. That so took two hits, but that's okay. Fighter's on a level 30, awesome. We have a cool trainer Jody. But I went all out I'm sorry, thanks for yeah, same my own pocket always, thank you. So, uh, let's see here. Let's switch to, um, let's switch to Skarmory, actually. I just want to put his fire at the very bottom of the list because he's highest level. He is highest level on my team. Okay, so Skarmory's at front now. Cool. Now, I think, okay, I think I've gone, I haven't gone to the left room yet of this place. Zero reduction room, the sign says. Do you want to go through? Yes, of course. Nice. Here's another culture in a male. Uh, don't waste your time trying to lower my Pokemon's abilities. Okay, I'll just try knocking your Pokemon out and winning the battle then. How's that? So this is Cool Trainer Parker. He has a Y Noon, level 27 male. We're two Screamer's two levels higher than it, so ha. Huh. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna try out the move, new move, Air Cutter. So see how much it does. Okay, God Spect. Okay, so I think I raised it. It's been, became surrounded and missed. Okay, cool. Let's see how much this Air Cutter does. Does a little over half, that's awesome, critical hit, awesome. Let's give it another air cutter then. Headbutt's not gonna be very effective because Scoomers have steel type. Uh flinch them, right? Good for you. Oh man, there goes the headbutt again, okay. There we go, air cutter hits this time. Oh I missed. Actually missed. Okay, I'll just swift to try to take this thing out then, because swift never misses in this case. So yeah, because it's not underground or underwater or in the air. So yeah, oh man, it still survived, okay. One more one more swift should do it. Yeah, there we go, nice. There goes the line here, nice. We defeated Cool Trainer Parker, nice. My Pokemon abilities weren't harmed, but I still lost. Yeah. Thanks for the same amount of Pokedex everyone's giving me this gym. I would appreciate it, man. I do. I do. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I think there's only a couple rooms that we haven't been in now. I haven't been on the right side, really, so let's go into the accuracy room now. I would like to go into the accuracy room. 
Uh, good goal. This is the accuracy of my. It's pretty nasty when attack lands without fail. That's good to know. I have Swift on my Skarmory, uh, so. Yeah, Swift never misses in this case. Delcaddy, okay, cool. I forgot to read the cool trainer's name, but it's cool trainer female. Let's go for the steal and see what she does. You're gonna use an extra accuracy on, uh, your Delcaddy, okay, uh, your, uh, your Delcaddy's accuracy rose, that's good for you. Okay, this is about half. Okay, let's try to use another stealing. And let's see if this knocks it out. Could it leave it in the red though? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Let's get a new scroll on Screamo, okay. Let's go for the swift attack then. This should knock it out. It does. Awesome. Nice. You were defeated Cool Trainer Mary. Nice. Uh, you were a cut above me. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks. Thanks for the Poker Dollars too. Let's go to the left room. I think we may have already battled this trainer, but yeah. Wait, what, what did they say? Defense room? Well, yeah. Did we battle all the trainers then, or am I missing a room? I think I'm missing the room on the right, actually. I could be wrong, though. Uh, recovery room, the sign says. Do you want to get there? Yes, of course. And here's that, uh, yeah. Here's, I think this may be the last trainer, actually. Just when you think you're going to win your HP, restore, your opponent restores HP. Can you just imagine how awful that must feel? I'll show you exactly how awful it feels. Yeah, I guess th that's a big pain to deal with when you have to experience it firsthand. But I still want to beat you in battle, Puck, uh, cool trainer George. He has a line here in level 27 male. Cool. Let's go with Screamo, I guess. And let's go with the stealing. Sand attack miss. Oh, sand attack didn't miss, but it lowered Screamer's accuracy. Stealing miss. Dang it. I want to go with Skill and Stealing off before you Swift. Yeah, Headbutt doesn't do much, but Screamo did flinch, so that kind of stinks. Screamer's Headbutt again. Oh man, this is bad. It's going to flinch again. Shoot. Screamer's Headbutt for the third time. And, yeah, the, th the third time it didn't, um, flinch. Make Screamer flinch. That's going to go for Swift then. Okay, this is not good. We gotta knock this thing out fast. All these stupid headbutts attacks, you know, it's just annoying. Gotta knock this thing out before Wainu knocks out Screamo. One more switch should do it though. Of course you're gonna use a super potion, of course. Oh well, she not full healed you. Oh she didn't full heal you, Wainu. Two more, um, so should do it. Come on, Skuma, stand strong. You need another super potion, fine by me. I'll just keep on using Swift then. We got this, Skuma, you can do it. So just headbutt again. Yeah, come on, as long as, you know, Wainu doesn't get a critical hit with a headbutt, we should be in good shape then. I probably just jinxed it though. Okay, good, we didn't, I didn't jinx it. Nice. And the line should go down. Well, there we go. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, nice. Okay, Cool Trainer George was defeated. Awesome. We can't, I couldn't restore HP enough. What H, What attack power. Thanks, man. Thanks for the same amount of pocket dollars everyone else has given me in this gym. Appreciate it, man. 1AK Ruben says, okay, I think we already went through this room. I think I, I think I, um, went through all the rooms in here. Yeah. Gym Waiter's Room, yes. See for yourself what uh, Pokemon await you. The sign says, do you want to go through? Yes. And right there is our dad, uh, the Gym Waiter. Neumann. Our dad. <laughs> I'm going to go back and heal the Pokemon Center though, so I'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so back in the gym. Um, I guess I'll start off with Screamo. Um, yeah. Now, um, Smokey tried to learn Protect. Um off screen when I was training up to level 29 and that would actually have been a really good move to use for the gym leader because uh the thing is Norman and at least Ruby and Sapphire and uh in Emerald I know he has like a lightning and stuff I think he has four Pokemon so three but in Ruby and Sapphire your dad has uh two Slackings and a Ve Vigoroth so um and the Slackings have uh this uh I think it's Torrent or something or Torrent uh where I know it's just with the T I think the ability where um the uh they the slacking has like legendary stats, like with legend, compared to legendary Pokemon. The thing is that the ability just keeps it from evolving, keep not keep it from evolving, but keep it from uh, attacking in battle, uh, uh, two consecutive times. So that means it only attacks every other turn. So every other turn it just lowers around, it doesn't attack. But um, it has like so much great 
attack power and stuff and stats. So that's what, that's why they made it like super strong with the stats, but then the catch is that it only attacks every other turn. So, uh, Torko was able to, was offered to learn, uh, protect, I think, like over 26 or something, or 28, somewhere around there. Um, and I kinda wish I, uh, what, what made it learn and got rid of smog, because, uh, that would've been a really good strategy to, uh, take out the slackings, but, uh, I guess we're gonna have to go without it because I didn't choose to, t uh, to teach it protect when I should have, you know? I kinda regret not teaching it protect just for this battle too. Because the thing is, you can attack when it's, when it's the turn you know it's gonna wolf around, but, uh, when it, when it, when it wants to attack, um, on its other, on the next turn, you can use protect and then, I'm pretty sure protect always works every other turn anyway. You can use it like two or three consecutive times, but three times in a row it's rare, but two times you can definitely use protect two times in a row, it's a good chance you can do that. But if you do it every other turn, I think it actually um, it works every time pretty much. Unless it fails sometimes. I guess it can have a chance to fail. But I really wish I should have actually taught it Protect now. Because that would have been really good for this battle. But again, I'm just going to have to go without it, you know? So that's my fault, you know? It's my... I'm going to have to pay for that. But hopefully it's I still win this battle easily. Or have a, at least a decently good time. Or decent time with taking on my dad. So I have Scream up front still. So let's go make our way to the gym later room. So we have to go through these um, doors, of course. Yeah, accuracy room want to go through. Yes, okay, cool. And then there is uh, the one defense room. I said also one K one hit room. Okay, I want to go through. Yes. And uh, yeah, okay, one hit KO room. The sign says want to go through. Yes, yeah, sure. There should be one more room after th after this should be the gym later room. Yes, it looks like it is gym later room. Which is, okay, we already read that. Want to go through. Yes. Okay, so I've scarred my friend, my screamo, let's talk to our dad. Hmm, so you got four gym badgers. Fine, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Steven, I'm so happy that I could have a few battle with my child, my own child, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Steven, you better get it, your best shot too. I don't think I mentioned this in part one, but actually, this in third generation for Beast of Friend Emerald, you actually see your dad. You never see your dad in other games though, like in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, or Pokemon Fire in Leaf Green, or Red, or Blue, and Yellow. So for example, a couple examples right there. But yeah, you see your dad in this game. Weird and normal like the battle, cool. It's a slacking level 28, cool. So, uh, let's go for the stealing, I guess. It's gonna use John. Of course, the next turn it's gonna wolf around though, so that's good. Stealing hits, awesome. It does that much, okay, well, Scream is defense always throws, that's cool. Let's uh, go for another stealing, I guess. It's wolfing around, yep, okay. But in the next turn it's gonna attack, so like, I'm gonna, Scream is gonna fall asleep though. Oh, defense throws again, awesome, that's good to no, know, that's good actually. Scream fell asleep, but we have to use a blue fruit then. Luckily, with the booth for at least, you know. Yeah, there we go. Now, Screamer woke up. Cool. Facade. Okay, that's the normal type move. It doesn't do too much, though, because uh, Screamer is half steel type and it resists it. Let's go for another stealing. It's going to loaf around. I'm going to try to uh, weaken it down so like, it doesn't reach the red health so I can just knock it out, hopefully. Let's go for the air cutter this time. It's going to use faint attack. Faint attack won't be, super, won't be very effective either on Screamo. So, we're, we're, you know, Screamer is holding up pretty good right now. The two, the two defense row stats would be good. Oh, no, it's going to heal. Let's go for the swift so it never misses, at least then. Just hyper potion. I'd rather use its, its hyper potions now than later. So, uh, that's good. We can still win this thing. Let's go for the stealing on this thing. Facade, okay. It's not going to do... Oh, man, critical hit. Jeez, that negates the defense stat raises that uh, stream I got from stealing. Okay. That's okay, then. Okay, more... Oh, three defense raises. Awesome, nice. Stat raises, I should say. Stages. It's all fun around. It's gonna, are we gonna use stealing again? So it's good to like wither around to help. I could just, you know, send out a fighter and try to sweep through his team, but I want to give Screamo some screen time too, because I know Screamo has potential to really work, help me in this fight, so yeah. It's gonna wolf around this time, but then after this turn, after the stealing, Screamo will fall back asleep. I uh, so put in a red health again, so it's gonna probably heal, but um, I'm actually probably going to use a full restore actually. Because it heals the sleep and it will full restore um, Screamo's health. So let's do that, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's going to use Yawn again. Okay, oh, it didn't heal, nice. 
So let's uh, use stealing again. Hopefully, I don't knock it out. It's gonna wolf around this turn. This turn, I should say. So there we go. The slacking should go down, and it does. Awesome, nice. So we're going 1,260 experience. Awesome, nice. It's gonna be on level 30. Awesome. Sent out slacking. I was gonna go for the, his other slacking. Okay, let's go for um. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking Geico. I don't know. Geico has needs some screen time, I guess. Okay, slacking, nice. Okay, let's see here. Let's use uh, Leaf Blade on this thing. It's gonna use Facade. It's gonna hurt, actually. Yeah, it's gonna do. Wow, wow, man, that thing is. Yeah. But then now that I switched out to different Pokemon, Screamo's attack stats, or not attack, but defense stats are gonna go back down to three stages, which kind of stinks. So I'm gonna go to Fighter next, I guess. Let's go um with the Fake Out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's gonna it's gonna wolf around anyway. Okay, cool. Let's go for the um. Let's go for Arm Thrust. Okay, yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna try to it's focus. Okay, that's not good. That's for that's try it's trying to use focus punch right here. But we it's going to make it lose its focus because uh we hit it, you know. So make sure you hit it whenever Slacking's trying to, you know, raise its fo tighten its focus for a focus punch. It's a two turn move, it has to tighten its focus without getting hit by move. And then um Oh shit, this compared it's red health, jeez. Okay, whatever. Hopefully you don't heal. And then, um, it's gonna try to go in the second. If it doesn't get hit by a physical move, then it's gonna try to use focus, but it's gonna use focus punch the next turn. So you have to be way, way about that. It's gonna, oh, it's gonna use a hyper potion. Okay. At least the fighter gets a vital thrift out of this, you know, on it. So that's good. This sucking is level 31 and level third, uh, male. Um, awesome. It did a little bit of half. Cool. It's gonna loaf around. Hopefully this vital throw will take it out. And the previous slacking was only level 28, so this one's a little bit stronger. We take out the slacking, awesome. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna use Vetagroth next. Okay, I'll switch. Oh, uh, no, I won't switch. I'm gonna s stick in with, a uh, uh s with Fighter. Um. Let's try Arm Thrust first. Um, Vetagroth is the pre evolved form of slacking, but evolved form of Slackoth. Um, and it does not have the, uh, t Torrent ability. Or um, so it, it attacks every turn, so keep that in mind. This photograph is level 30, so this thing's kind of fast too, so keep that in mind. Let's go for the Vital Throw. It's gonna just slash it again, okay, cool. Vital Throw's gonna hit, awesome, because it always goes second but always hits. And we're gonna take it out, awesome. So overall, that battle wasn't too hard. I mean, the slacking, his second slacking did faint Geico in one hit with the facade, but that's okay. Okay, players defeated Noi, okay, we defeated the leader Noi, nice. Hold on, let me go to my notes for my movesets, because I know I'm going to teach one of my Pokemon the TM is going to give me. I accidentally opened Paint that now on my other computer. Jeez. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to my notes. Let me scroll up. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. How I'm, how I'm, I'm going to teach Facade to how I'm apparently according to my final movesets for my notes. I can't. I, I can't. I can't believe it. Steven? I lost to Steven? But rules are rules. Here, take this. We get 3100 Poké Dollars. Thanks, Dad. That was a nice battle. Uh, we received the balance badge from Dad. Nice. So that's the fifth gym badge of Hoenn. Nice. With that badge, uh, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that you that, that know that your move safe will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Steven. I'm sure you can use it correctly. This is Team 42, which is Facade, which is the movie used that one hit KO my Geico. <laughs> yeah, Team 42 uh, contains Facade. It it um doubles the power for the move is. If of moves if it's paralyzed if it's poison paralyzed or burned. It may be able to t turn a bad situation to a good into an advantage. That's awesome. As a Pokemon gym leader, I can't express how upset I am, but as a father I am it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. You need just faces the other way. Oh yes, okay, I could he's even to think for a second, I guess. Oh yes. Well his parents came calling earlier. They said they had something that they wanted to give you, Steven. That's HMZ03 Surf, by the way, if you didn't know. So I was gonna pick that up, actually. Let's teach Facade to, um, Fighter, though. Let's get out of the gym first before we do that. And talk to the Vice Keeper and read the statue again. You know the drill. So we have to do this with, like, every gym. Really. <laughs> Steven, whoa. You overcame even your own father. Like, whoa. What a stunning turn of events. Thanks, man. 
Okay, so let's start. Let's do the statue. Po Pedalburg City Pokemon Gym. Norman Certified Trainer Steven. Awesome. So now we're outside the gym, we can teach Facade to a uh, fighter, but we could have done that in the gym. <laughs> That's okay though. Let's uh, teach Facade to a uh, fighter. Yeah, okay. Let's teach it to fighter right here. Uh, okay, I'm Pokemon to come in facade. Cool. Fighter wants to learn the move facade. However, Fighter already has four moves. Should I move do it and move the facade? Yes. Which should, should be forgotten. Let's give it a um Let's honestly give it a fake out. I think it's the weakest link here. Let's give it a fake out, yeah. We don't need any more really. One, two, and poof. Fighter forgot how to use fake out. And Fighter went facade. Cool. So uh Fighter, yeah. Nice. Yeah, let's see, it's, um, final moves that actually would be Brick Break, Vital Throw, Earthquake, and Facade. So it only knows Vital Throw and, uh, Facade, but, uh, it'll actually, it will replace, um, probably Rock Tomb with Earthquake, and then, uh, uh, then Brick Break with Arm Thrust or something, you know? Maybe the vice versa, too, I don't know yet. Depends on the situation. So let's, I'm gonna back to the Pokemon Center and heal. Do I need to put any items in the PC, though, as I'm checking right now? Let's see. Uh, nope, I guess not. Nope, okay. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So let me do that. Okay, after that, we can uh, actually arrange our Pokemon. Let's put Scream on Gekko, I guess. There we go, nice. Um, yeah, guys, we're gonna actually head back to, um, Uda Root Town because if we talk to our mom after we get the balance badge, she'll give us a held item. It's the Emlet Coin. I'm gonna give that to Screamo because I usually always give the Emlet Coin to my fine type Pokemon because I think also fine type Pokemon can actually always be in battle or try to be in battle. I don't know. I should, I should always give it to my fine type Pokemon. So now we're in Little Town again. And let's talk to our mom. Let's talk to her. Yeah. Oh, dad give you that badge? Um, here's something from mom. We get the Amma Coin. Awesome. Which the Amma Coin, as long as the Pokemon appears in battle, um, it'll double the prize money at the end of the battle. So that's awesome. Good way to make extra Pokedars. You know, double the Pokeballs. The Pokedars you would have gotten from a trainer for winning. Okay, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard, dude. You can always come home. Go for it, honey. Thanks. Thanks, mom. I'm off though. I'm off to do um get surf and stuff and stuff across water now. So and after you get surf, I think Mr. Barney just disappears. By the way, so we last left him at sleep on the Sleepport Beach. So we backtrack to Sleepport Beach when we loop around, because what he's going to want to do actually is I want to uh not go to my bag. I meant to go to my Pokenav. Okay, yeah, we're going to look at the home map. So Miss Mr. Barney left us at uh left us uh is at. It's supposed to be at Sleepport Beach, but I think when we get the HM03 uh, Surf, like when we talk to Wally's parents when they give us to it, he'll actually disappear. So like, what my plan is, I want to actually go back to Puddleburg City, I want to go up north to um, Rushburg City, because I know there's an area we can actually surf to, where we battle those twins on that bridge, on Route 104, before, south of uh, Rushburg City. We can actually get PP up, so I'm going to pick that up, and then I want to backtrack through routes, route, I guess, um, 105, 106, and then go back to Dufort to get the TM for Sludge Bomb that I want to teach, uh, that I want to teach, uh, Metroid, uh, for one of his, uh, his final moves. And then I want to go to these routes right here, about 107, 108, 109, and backtrack to Sleepwood City, go through, uh, go to Marvel, and then go west, which is, uh, where we need to go to about 118 and all that, to reach Fortress City, which is actually with six gym badges. So we actually have to do a big, like, loop around, as you see, like, right here. So, that'd be pretty interesting how that works out. It'll be kind of uh, long and stuff, but, you know, it's good dick's training, and we can uh, stop by the banished ship, which is actually TM, we can get TM-13 ice cream, which is another move we want to teach our uh, Metroid. So, yeah, as one of its final moves. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, go for it. Let's put a repel on, though, because I, I don't want to into, run into a wild Pokemon here. I uh, mean, I've passed the, I already went to pass the bag, jeez. Let's use, let's give the Emma coin to, um, Screamer before we forget, though. Nice, okay, cool. Uh, let's put a repel on, though. We have 12 repels after this, super repels, 12 super repels, I should say. So, yeah. Making our way back to Puddleburg City, because that's where we need to go next, get, to get the HM03 Surf. From my wife's parents, at their house, that is, um, west of the gym, actually. So there we go, we made it back into Pearlberg City, yeah, awesome. Let's actually put a couple places we can surf here, actually, cool. Here's Wally's parents' house. Wally's house, oh, this is Wally's house, actually. He's just living with relatives in Verdant Turf Town, then, I guess. 
I talked to his dad. He's there, Stephen. Oh, uh, well, I became a very healthy since uh, he went back to Everton Turf Town. We owe it all to you. Well, when Wally left town, you helped him catch your Pokemon, right? I think he, that made Wally way happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made his father happy, too. Happy that he is such a good friend to you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd like to have this. HMZ Earthy Surf, which is a really good water type move. It's a really good water type move. It's really powerful. If your Pokemon can can surf, you can be able to go all sorts, go go to all sorts of places. Yeah. So I think Mr. Brian just randomly disappeared now because we got the HM Surf now. Yeah. So I don't know where it goes. Like, the, is there a Pokemon theory where it goes? Because I don't know. Is a theory that like he has a tragic boat accident? That's kind of uh, that's kind of dark to say that. But I don't know where it goes. Honestly, like, is there like a backstory to that or a follow-up story with that? I don't know. Honestly, I'm just probably asking the wrong person. I should just Google it or something. Maybe someone has a Pokemon theory, like maybe Proto Mario. Proto Mario does Pokemon theories all the time. So, uh, maybe just to make a Pokemon theory probably on that. If he hasn't already done that. I don't think he's already done that, but he may have done a Pokemon theory on where Mr. Briny went. Yeah, okay, let's just, yeah, let's teach Metroid Surf. Let's go to Constrict. Yeah, I don't really need Constrict anymore on Metroid. One, two, and poof. Metroid figure out how to use Constrict and Metroid Land Surf. Awesome. I'm gonna actually put Metroid up first because Metroid actually evolves in the tentacle at level 30. So uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah. Let's surf on this uh, water because I think we can get rare candy and stuff. I think we can get rare candy and another thing. Okay, so here's a rare candy. No, that's an ether. Okay, the other one, the other, uh, to the right's a rare candy, but it's an invisible item, I believe. So yeah. Nice. I love the surfing music and how fast you can surf. Oh, it probably effect a Dang it. Okay, yeah, we found a rare candy, awesome. How many, I think that's eight rare candies now that we have. I could be wrong. Let's check real quick. Um, rare candies. We have eight now, awesome, I was right. I don't think I need to put a on because this is such a small gap, small area of water, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Let's, um, go back to, um, Route 104, but on the other side of Petal Woods. Actually, I can just do a pill and just run through the tall grass and not have to go around. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go use a repel. Nice. So this is a bunch of side quests and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think the I think when we get the um the PP up from uh, that surfing area uh, south of Reshboro, but near the dock or bridge of uh, where those twins were that we battled a long time ago, like maybe I'd say ten or eleven parts ago, if I were to guess. Um, we're gonna end the part though because I'm already at thirty four minutes of recording time, so that's pretty long. <laughs> So yeah, oh yeah, we got, we got the X accuracy, whatever that was there when we cut the tree there. So that's good. Metroid Yusuf. Now this is hard to like, you don't, you wouldn't really notice this unless you like, we went to the far edge where you see that little gap there. So that's, they kind of hid the item a little bit, but then you can see that there's something over there that you can surf across to get there. So that's like how you know that there's an item over there if you look hard enough. So yeah, there's a PP up possum. So I can put the ether, I'm off screen, I'm gonna put the ether and the PP up in my PC because I'll stash them in my PC for later because I don't need my bag for right now. So, um, also, I'm gonna go to, uh, um, I'll show you where I'm gonna, um, start the next part actually. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, we pause effect off, but we can use ledges to avoid the tall grass in here. So that's good. So I'm gonna start the next part right around here where the beach is actually. So let me show you where that is real quick. Yeah, okay. Which is right here, because we actually want to surf south of here to get back to Dufert. And we're going to backtrack and loop around, like I said, like I showed you guys in the Pokenab. So yeah, this has been my Pokemon Ruby Redock, the part, the next part will take on the routes, um, route, uh, I think 106 and 107, if I were to guess. Um, 105, 106, yes. 105 and 106, and hopefully make it to uh, Duke for Town again so I can get the t a TM for a uh, Sludge Bomb, TM36 Sludge Bomb, I believe, to teach to uh, to teach the Metroid. Because after you get five gym badges, you can go back to uh, Duke for Town, which I think I mentioned when I first went to Duke for Town. So after you get the balance badge from your dad, you can um, get the TM36 Sludge Bomb, which is a really good poison type move, and it'll be the same type of tech bonus for, um, for Metroid Tentacle, yeah. So, and also we show off the badge trainer card. So like the bounce battle looks like a little weight, so that's pretty cool. So we have five gym badges now, that's pretty cool. Playtime is 27 hours and 17 minutes. And our, we have like 87,845 Pokedollars, awesome. Pokedex is only 11 though, jeez. Okay, 
So, um, also something that Leroy mentioned in his Pokemon Sapphire uh, walkthrough that he did back in like 2010, 2011, um, is that he said that, uh, you see, after you get four gym badges, uh, your, your dad tells you to, hey, get four gym badges and come back and we can battle, um, and I'll battle you then, because you'll be much stronger. Well, basically, our playtime is 27 hours and 18 minutes right now. So that means we, we technically got four gym badges in a little bit over a day, basically. So imagine in real life, just, hey, dad, I'm going to come back, uh, and get, when, when I get four gym badges, I'm going to battle you like you promised. So, like a day, almost a little bit over a day later, he, our trainer, our trainer, our character comes back and he beats him really badly in a Pokemon battle. Like, that would be really bad, really sad, and kind of embarrassing on my dad's part to lose to their son that got four gym badges in just over a day and just like totally annihilate him in gym battle. Like, if you think about that, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Credit to Leroy for making that joke, because he actually made a good point. If your playtime is just over a day, and takes you four gym, you get four gym badges in over just a day, and you come back and just beat your dad, that's crazy. That's crazy to think about like that. But yeah, so this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you for giving me goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo walkthrough guide. <laughs>